Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door. Excuse my mess. Um, but I was playing, um, trying to make some um, envelopes inspired by um, Gail Agostinelli. And um, she said she learned how to do them from Tracy Fox. And so I was making some of those because I'm making some floral journals. Journals. <clears throat> And so, I just thought I'd turn the camera on and let y'all come along. So, they look like this. Let me make sure you can see them okay. So, there's one. And I got me one of those wax stamps, y'all. I'm so excited. Today's the first day I've got to use it. So, um, and then there's this one. So, you can do all kinds of different things with it. And these are super easy to make. Um, these are, um, I'm not completely finished with because I want to put like a piece of lace or something on the flap because they're going to sit, you know, over the page like this, kind of like, like if this is the page, they'll sit over the page like this and I might, I'll probably just clip them on or something. So anyways, I just thought that I would let y'all come along and watch while I make one. So this one I already started. So basically, I just took some, um, uh, this is Vintage Dictionary page and Vintage Music, and I just ripped around it. The Vintage Dictionary page, I had already coffee dyed a long time ago. I had it in my stash. Um, the music, I kind of just did some ink around the edges and kind of in the middle. So then what I do is I'll probably take just, you know, a little piece, a little swatch of lace. And I think I'm going to put him right here. So, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use my hot glue gun because it's getting bad about burning me. I think I will, though, because this lace is, I'm just going to put just like a little bit of glue. Can y'all see okay? Let me zoom in just a little bit so y'all can see a little better. Whoops, didn't mean to shake it. Well, it might help if I put the glue in there good. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it down just to hold it until I get the other stuff glued on top of it. So, And it doesn't really matter, you know, what position or anything that you put it in. So I've got this little ticket here. And then... There's this little flower. They're both from Tim Holtz. I finally got some Tim Holtz stuff. I, this is the first time I've used any of it. So, so I just want, it's kind of white, too white for, you know, the envelope. So I'm just gonna go around the edge with a little bit of, uh, this is walnut stain. Might help if I could turn it where y'all read it. I'm sure most of y'all have that. I'm usually a little late to the game on getting stuff. That's okay. I still have fun. Y'all excuse my hands. They're horrible. I've been crafting all day. So, so I'm just going to kind of put this, I don't know, somewhere around in there. And do I want to ink this? Maybe I do. Let's ink the ticket too. He kind of got bent a little bit, but I'm still going to ink him a little bit. Uh-oh. Yes, the wind is blowing at my house. And I have my window open because it is absolutely beautiful here today. And I think tomorrow it's going to rain all day. So, I wanted my window open to let a little bit of outside in. Alright, so how do I want to do this? Not real sure how I want to do it. Ooh, I like that. Maybe I'll put him over the top of that. Okay. So, I like it like that. But I kind of want to go down so that... I want the flowers on the lace. So, we'll do it that way. These envelopes are really easy, guys. And they're so much fun. I've, I've enjoyed... Um, I don't take a lot of time to make ephemera like I should. And so when I'm doing a journal, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm doing a journal, 
I have to stop in the middle, you know, and make ephemera to go in it. So I thought I might could get a little bit ahead of the game, which I'm actually not ahead of the game because I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have two floral journals, a garden journal, and one, two, three, four, four little golden books and another little book that's ready for me to video. So, um, but the floral journals, journals, I don't know why I can't talk today. The floral journals <laughs> need to be decorated. So those don't want to stay down real good. Okay. So I've got that on, and so the next thing I want to do is I want to cut my little tag. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my throat today. I guess it's all these allergies. So I've been using this paper. I love this paper. It is, let me see if I can find a piece of it. Of course not, because that would be too easy. I think it's my mind's eye or something like that. It's I buy it in single sheets at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you've all seen it. Beautiful paper. I love it. So I just take it and I'm going I'm not gonna move my um, Okay. Can't think of the name of it. Trimmer, paper trimmer. This is a paper trimmer. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna go I have a tag punch that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's this one and I love it. I use it all the time. So um, the smallest one of it is an inch and a half, so I'm just going to cut an inch and a half strip. I mean, you can do lots and lots with your scraps, guys. You can take your scraps and make, you know, tags or whatever. And then I'm going to cut this one in half, and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not really measuring. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my punch... And I put this up in there, and I want it to be kind of a small little tag. And then I just press that, and he comes out like that. So I love this little tag punch. I use it all the time. All right, and then I'm going to take a little bit of ink and go around the edges of my tag. Okay, I want to do the back side too. You probably won't be able to see it, but just in case you turn it around or whatever on the envelope. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take a piece of this twine. This is some twine that my best friend gave me. That looks like it's tangled up. Let me see. Okay, I'll see how it does. So, I just basically take a length that is two and a half times the, um, the, the width of the envelope. One, two, okay, let's go a little more. Three, we'll go three. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and take it to the back. And I wanna make sure because on this envelope, this goes down kind of low on this envelope, so I just want to make sure that I'm not in the way of trying to put something into the envelope. So, and then I'm just going to wrap this over to the edge here, and I'm going to put my tag through this piece on this side so that it's kind of over to the side a little okay and then I'm just going to tie a bow and the envelope I already had it was already coffee dyed but you don't have to have it coffee dyed you can just ink it up if you want to do that or however Whichever is easiest for you. Okay. So I'm just going to tie a bow right there on the tag. And then I get to play with my wax. So um, 
I have the gold and I have the pink and I have a red. And this one's kind of got a red rose and I haven't got to use the red yet. So I think I'm going to use the red. Now, like I say, this is only like the third time I've done this. So, and of course the wind's blowing. So you basically, now this takes a minute, so you just have to be patient. But you just basically drip enough wax onto the area that you want to stamp for it to be the same dimension as your stamp. Mine's the little rose. It's, you know, it's not huge. I guess it's about an inch. So you're just going, and you don't want to be real far away from your envelope, but you also don't want to catch it on fire, so just, <laughs> just be careful with that. But it's okay if it goes on the lace, it's okay if, you know, wherever it goes, you know, as long as you're getting it in a circle, which is kind of the ideal thing to do, is to, you know, you want it to... You know, you don't want a big square blob of wax and then put, punch a circle in the middle or, you know, stamp the circle in the middle. So, almost there, guys. You just have to be patient with this. And it's, you know, it's a little bit of a slow process, but it's really not that bad. And if you get off like I just did, just kind of fill it in. No big deal. That's not going where I want it to go. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then I'm just going to come over here and fill in these little holes. Okay, and I think we're about good. So I'm going to blow this out. And lay it over here where it don't burn anything. And I want to be sure that I don't get my twine in there. Or my bow. I mean, I know my twine in the middle is in there. So you basically just take your, your little stamp, lay it down in there, and press. And you don't have to press real hard, but I do like to hold it until it kind of dries a little bit. So I give it just a second, and I don't know if you have to do that or not, but I do. And then I just kind of wiggle it to see if it's kind of hard. And then pull it off. And then you get that. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. Super excited. And, you know, that's still just a tad bit wet, but not a whole lot. So, um, there's my envelope. So, super simple to make these. You can go as elaborate or as um, simple um, as you want to go with them. But they're super cute and they, um, they, they're a really good embellishment for any kind of journal. So, I just thought I would come along and share that process with y'all. Um, you know, it's not too long of a process, so... Play and have fun. Use your scraps. I mean, most of these, I mean, this is scraps, this is scraps, um, this is scraps. So, you know, you can use your scraps and, and make some really pretty stuff. This is just scrap um, coffee dyed cheesecloth that I used up underneath there. And, um, you know, you, I can even use a scrap piece of lace to go across the top on the back as well so that it's decorated on that side as well so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial or process video or whatever you want to call it if you liked it hit the like button <clears throat> excuse me um if you're not yet a subscriber hit the subscribe button you guys leave me some comments show me some love and i hope you all have a wonderful day thanks for watching guys